Buddhist meditation. Meditation is defined by Cambridge Dictionary Online as the act of giving yourself to only one thing, either as a religious activity or as a way of becoming calm or relaxed. It enables the mind to become free to explore. Am I happy yet? How to meditate. There are five steps in meditation. Number one, relaxing the body. Number two, deep breathing. Number three, concentration of the mind. Number four, expansion of the mind. Number five, productive activity. Number one, relaxing the body. Do some stretching or yoga exercises. After that, tense and relax each body part, starting with the toes and ending with the top of the head. Number two, deep breathing part one. Sit cross-legged on the cushions, left palm over the right palm. Keep the back straight and relaxed as that will allow a natural flow of energy up and down the spine. Close your eyes. Deep breathing part two. Practice deep breathing for a few moments. Breathe in to a count of three. Hold the breath and breathe out to a count of three. As you breathe, you breathe in fresh energy, love, joy and peace. They are entering and spreading throughout your body as you breathe out. Imagine any negative feelings, sadness, boredom, anger or tiredness coming out through your nose and leaving your body and disappearing. Concentration of the mind. This step is focusing the mind at one point. Visualize a point on your upper lip and concentrate at that point. Draw all your energy and attention into that point while staying very relaxed. Let any stray thoughts or memories pass through, always gently drawing the attention back to the point. Number four, expansion of the mind. Once your body, emotion and mind are quiet, you are ready for the fourth step, true meditation. Turning inside for your own answers and wisdom. Using guided imagery, you will learn to see yourself on a movie screen in your mind as a caring, loving, patient, etc. type of person. Productive activity. Slowly bring your attention back to your body. Feel all your body parts. Slowly wriggle your fingers and toes. Rotate your head. When you are ready, slowly open your eyes. What is happiness? Happiness can mean many different things to different people. The people of Bhutan think of happiness as being content. The government of Bhutan wants its citizens to be happy. It thinks happiness is more important than money. That is why the government of Bhutan asks people questions every few years to see how happy they are. This information is used to improve life for everyone in the kingdom of happiness. 
In 1972, a new king was crowned in Bhutan. King Wang Chuk was just 16 years old. The young king loved his country. He wanted it to grow and be successful. King Wang Chuk knew that other countries measure success by money alone. They add up the cost of goods they make and sell. The king did not believe that was right for Bhutan. Most of its citizens were Buddhists. They believe that happiness is an important step to leading a good life. Money was only a small part of that. Gross National Happiness King Wan Chuk wanted his country to be a happy place. Only then would it succeed. He came up with a plan for Bhutan called Gross National Happiness. It had four key ideas about happiness that would help Bhutan's growth. The measurement for gross national happiness is based on things that Bhutanese people value. Good governing, wise handling of money and growth of society, strong support for the Bhutanese way of life, care of the natural world. The government decided it needed a way to keep track of happiness. It needed something more exact than just four pillars. Planners created nine areas or domains that were based on the four pillars. The domains were then broken down into categories. All the domains and categories made up the gross national happiness index. The GNH gave a more complete picture of happiness.